Python for machine learning. In this session, we will learn about k-fold cross-validation and why it is used. So first of all, k-fold cross-validation means we need to divide our data set into n number of folds. In one of my previous session, I have shown the train test split. That is nothing but that is the holdout method of cross-validation. In that case, we will only do one division. This only once we will do the, the division. In this, what we are doing, we are doing a uh, division 80 is my train data set, 80 percentage and 20 percent is my test data set. And on this, we will train our data uh, like model based on this record and we will test or validate based on this record. If our data has like huge variance or there is bias, then in that case, just one set of uh, cross validation is not enough. In that case, we have to try several things and one of this thing is k-fold cross validation. In that case, what we will do, we will divide our data set into k different folds and each of the data will come in as a part, will become as a part of a train and again in some of the uh, like cases it will be part of the, uh, it will be part of the test. So each and every scenarios will be tested out and please note when we are doing k fold, the number of k folds should not increase the number of records in my parameters which will pass in the object, k-fold object. If we give the k-fold as 5, it will first divide this into the test and this thing will come into our train data. So from 3 till 14 will be our train data. Then 0, 1, 2, the one which is in yellow will be our train data set. Like out of this 15 elements, 12 will be our train and 3 will be our test data. And now what I will, will do, will start with the Python code. I'll show how to implement this using the Python and especially using the scikit-learn library. Very simple, we'll start from sklearn dot cross validation, import kfold and then what we'll do, we'll create an object of kfold which is equals to kfold and suppose like I'll pass this number 15. This number is nothing but the index. I have a data set which has 15 rows and this 15 is nothing but the index of those 15 rows and, and, and underscore the number of folds, how many folds you want to pass is 5 and shuffle for the timing will keep, I'll keep it as false and then I'll show what it will do when we we'll pass it as true. Now we will execute this two line of code and our k-fold object will be created. Then what I will do, I'll simply run a for loop for train underscore index. Now if we type here k-fold, the object of k-fold is created but we don't know anything about it, how, what is inside this. I'll show why I'm giving this start is equal to 1. In the course of like uh, coding, we'll come to know about each and every parameter why we are using that. So I'll show. Okay. Now if I execute this. So the way what I have shown in this, it is exactly coming like this. From 3 till 14 is my train data and 0, 1, 2 is my test for first fold. For second fold, 3, 4, 5 is my test data and from 0, 1, 2 and 6 till 14 is my train and similar is for third, fourth and for fifth is from 0 till 11th will be my train. 0 to 11th will be my train data. Like these are the indexes of those records which we will have. And from 12, 13 and 14 is nothing but the, we should make it a bit more like it should be presentable. So what we'll do, we'll print it in like some good format so that it will be like presentable, which is one of the most important thing in data science. The first thing is this one, two, three, four, five is nothing but my iterations. Iterations. Then I have training set followed by testing. Now if I execute this, this is what it's coming. I can even make it more like better, much better. Okay, somewhat better, right? Now, so we will come start. What I will do instead of five, I'll give here six, and then we'll see our. <coughs> so you can see the iterate while changing the number of folds, our the uh, the dynamics of the train and test will also change. If we give here through n number of experiment, it has been proved that. The optimum value for n underscore fold number of folds is 10 where you get the best output. Now, if if we give here number of folds as 16, what will happen? It will not execute. 
because what I've already mentioned in the beginning of this session, the number of holes should be less than or equal to the number of reports. But we will follow because the data is less, so we'll follow five only. The number of holes is five. What if we change the value of this start? What do you mean by this? If I change this value, then this index, right, iteration is becomes one zero. So it, it's not looking that great. So we'll change it back to one and then we will execute this. Now, till here, I believe you have understand what I'm trying to explain. Now, because we have, now we'll look into this uh, parameter shuffle. Now, because we have given this shuffle as false, that's why everything is in sequence. Now, we'll make it as true. So now you can see test data which is being formed and even the train data also. Either of them is not in sequence. It's being generated randomly. You can see 9, 13, 14 here. You can see 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7. And then you can see 1, 0, 1, 3, 4. So this is the main objective of shuffling. And you have to do n number of experiments. Then only you may end up getting a more generalized or optimized solution where you have the... Thanks a lot for watching this session. My next session will be based on the stratified k-fold and I'll be coming up with a series of uh, k-fold and then uh, I'll also show how to create using different models, using different classification approach, how we will create a score of my uh, classification model and then we'll also use the uh, predict function to give the output of those classifications using k-fold functionality. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I'm always open to question. Feel free to ask any question. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.